guys, welcome back to Melby Academy. Today I'm going to show you how to properly format your essay in APA style using Microsoft Word. All right, thanks again for joining me at Melby Academy. Please, if you're getting value out of these videos, please make sure that you subscribe, like, and comment on this. And also go to melbyacademy.com and bookmark this website because on this website you have access to tons of resources on how to write in MLA style, APA style, Chicago style, and we are continually adding more content. You can also get free MLA sample essays and we're about to add an APA sample essay. So just make sure that you are subscribing to the channel and bookmarking the melbyacademy.com website. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to show you how to format your essay in APA style using Microsoft Word. This is the essay we're going to be working with, um, and this is also a sample essay that I'm going to give you guys access to, so you can freely download this whenever you want, and just, uh, we're also going to add some notations on the side, just letting you know how and why you do certain things throughout the essay. Uh, but this will be the example we're going with. Uh, so to set this up in Microsoft Word, Word. You obviously need to have Microsoft Word. There is a free online version you can get, but if you don't have that, you can probably get uh, free use of Microsoft Word through your university. If not, uh, it is a subscription you have to pay for every month. So this is Microsoft Word. I just opened a blank document. The very first thing you want to do is change your font to Times New Roman, and you're going to use size 12 throughout the entire essay. Next, you want to make sure that you have the right margins. Uh, so you'll just go to layout, margins, and it should be one inch margins from top left, bottom right. It's usually already going to be set to this. Um, and then back at the home screen here, you want to make sure that you are setting your paragraph spacing. You can click this icon here and it'll give you a pop up. Uh, what I like to do when I'm doing an essay is go ahead and just change the before and after spacing to zero. I don't like to add any additional spaces between paragraphs. You do not want to do that. You want to make sure it maintains a um, double spacing throughout all your text lines. So just go ahead and do double and then hit OK. You can also just quickly make sure that your indentation is set. So when you tab over, it should only be a half inch. Uh, for e all of your tabs uh, when you're indenting paragraphs. It's already set to that, so I don't need to do anything else from here. Next, we want to make sure that we're putting page numbers. Now, originally with APA, you would have to do uh, a running head throughout your entire essay, so you'd have a page number plus your title or something like an abbreviation of your title would run through the top of your page with your page number on every single page. You no longer have to do that anymore. So you're only going to put a page number. And we want it to be on the top of the page. Notice how I'm on uh, insert, page number, top of page. And we're going to set this to the top right. So we're going to select plain number three. Go back to home and make sure that your page number is Times New Roman, size 12. And then once that's set, you can just click out of this anywhere on the page and there you go. So every single page that you go to, it'll have consecutive numbers at the top right going forward. All right, so now we're going to jump into your uh, title page. Now, you mo more than likely will always have a title page unless your professor tells you to do something kind of weird. You should have a title page. And if I can just go back to the sample essay, your title page when finished should look like this. So you'll have in bold your title and, and then go back over to the essay and paste it in. Uh, but if we weren't pasting it in and we were just going to type it, you notice it's a few spaces down from the top. Um, and I think, honestly, you know, just for example's sake, um, I would typically go one, two, three, four, about four spaces down, and you'll center it, and then you'll write, well, you don't want to do it in all caps, so, so, 
So you'll put that there and you'll want to make it bold. So the only thing you're really doing uh, throughout the APA, I say I will say, is it, APA does use a lot of titling and you don't change the font for these titles or the size. You're actually just changing it from uh, regular to bold. So that is something you will use a lot of throughout the APA essay. That is a little different than MLA. The next thing is I have a, at least one space, uh, sorry, two spaces down before I start the content here uh, or start typing the information. So when I go back to this, you wanna go down at least twice and then start writing. The first thing you're gonna place is your name and then you're gonna do the department and the school. So if it's the Department of English, Department of History, whatever the department is, you type that, then comma, and then the school. Uh, so it could be NC State University, Harvard University, whatever it is, uh, put the university. Next, you're gonna put your course and the course title that you're in, the actual class you're in. So there's a course and a course number, and then you usually have maybe a class, maybe your course is called something, and you wanna make sure you put that there as well. Then you'll also have your date, and notice how this is all centered, and this is just regular font, we're not bolding anything. And uh, so we have January 28th, comma, 2021. And this is, looks a little bit different than MLA. So once you do that, this is it for your title page. You don't need to put anything else here except that. The next page, and this is actually not common anymore. It used to be much more common. You would have to write an abstract. And the abstract is about 200 to 250 words. And it's just giving you an introduction about what this essay is gonna cover, what is it about, and right below that, you would have keywords. What are some of the keyword terms that we're using in the essay? That way, if the professor wants to check any of your work or researchers want to check your work, they have some terms that they can search and use for research. Um, it's, again, pretty uncommon to use abstracts now, but there are some professors in universities that are still requiring an abstract. So if you do use an abstract in your essay or require to use an abstract, you would center and use the word abstract, and then you would start typing the content. So what that looks like in Microsoft Word is you'll just go ahead and just keep hitting enter until you get to the next page. And from the very top of that page, you're staying centered, we're staying in the middle of the page, and we're just gonna type abstract, and this needs to be bold. Remember, you use a lot of bold titling in your APA style essay. The next thing is you'll just go ahead and space one space down and we need to go back to left alignment. So you're going to go next or you're going to hit back to left alignment and we no longer need to be bold. So unbold that and you can then start typing your essay from here. Now one other thing to keep note is if you do have to do it in abstract, the first paragraph of the abstract, and it usually is only one paragraph, but that first paragraph is not indented. Notice how this is just stays left aligned for the whole abstract. Do not indent the first paragraph of your abstract. It should only be about 200 to 250 words. And then you also want to make sure you're adding keywords to the abstract. When we go back to our Microsoft Word setup, um, we have done a page number, we've set up our margins, we've set up the font and size, and we've set up the double space. And then uh, we've also started our abstract and got that going. And now that we've done that, what we can do is start typing our content. So we can scroll all the way or hit enter all the way down to the next page. And we can start with our content. Now keep in mind, if we don't have an abstract, then our content's gonna go ahead and start on the second page. Um, but since we do have an abstract as an example, we gotta jump to our third page before we even start with our content. And if we go back to our sample essay, remember we use a lot of titling. So we'll go ahead and start with an introductory paragraph for content and very similar to the abstract that's sort of introducing and discussing the, giving you an overview of the whole essay. 
If we don't have an abstract, we're going to jump right into an introductory section. And the introductory section is just laying out what uh, what the situation is. Either it's laying out the research, the hypothesis, the, um, the, the problem at hand. And so for this particular essay, we want a title, and then we want to start introducing the issue. What are we going to discuss here? What's this research based on here? And so here we go with this essay. We start off with a title. And it's oftentimes can be the title of the essay, which is looks like is what's happening here. Um, so going back to our Microsoft Word, we are on the third page. We want to center this title. You want to make it bold. Then we jump down one space, go back to left align, and we'll tab in. Oh, and we have to unbold as well. And we can start typing from here. Remember, this is an introductory type, uh, introductory section, so you don't have to keep it left aligned on the first level. It's only on the abstract that stays left aligned. Because we've moved into the content of the essay, we go right back to doing that half inch indent for the rest of the content. Okay? So going forward, we just want to make sure that all of your titles are bold, most of which will be centered, and then you'll just start typing the content all double-spaced. This is how you set up your APA-style essay. Again, uh, I might ha not have it ready for you right at the second, uh, but I will go ahead and make sure that you guys have a template available for Microsoft Word, and then also I'll go ahead and package a template for you guys for Google Docs because you might be writing your essay in Google Docs just like the example I have here it was written in Google Docs so I'll show you guys in another video how to set up your APA essay in Google Docs if that's what you're going to use uh, if you're getting value from this video please subscribe to the channel and please comment below and let me know that you're liking this content make sure that you bookmark melbyacademy.com and that way you can use that as a continued resource and then make sure also as you're going through your APA essay some titles are centered, some titles are uh, left aligned. It just depends on which part of the essay you're diving into. And uh, that's why I'm going to give you an example essay to work off of in the coming videos. So make sure that you subscribe. There's a lot of great content coming soon that's going to help you out. Hope this video helped you out. Again, please comment. Please smash the bell. Please subscribe. And uh, that way I know that you like this content and are getting value. And I'll keep making this content. Uh, in the coming months. Uh, thank you so much, and until next time.